against Ash Sage Wani. Pretty good against Lee Sin decks, but it used to be really popular. Hasn't been as much. I'm going to look for some low cost cards as I want to find things like Diana, Duskblade, or Duskblade, Duskbringer, whatever the one mana card that creates the Dusk Petal is. That is very helpful for me. Right now, my hand's a tiny bit clunky as I don't really have an activator for my Shade Stalker. So hopefully I can just pass this turn, not have to worry about it. Yeah, Omen Hawk. It's not really worth to preemptively play this when I can use it as an activator for next turn. I will see if they attack here or not. There it goes. So I guess I'll probably open up with a Make It Rain and play the Shade Stalker here. Not much other choice. The activator is just too important. Twisted Fate or a Zap is pretty good next turn. And maybe a Trapper here from them. That's like their ideal card to play to get the Yeti in the near future. I um, will happily take this. So there's a chance that they don't have anything to play here considering that they just passed that. To me it's quite weird if they do, but I guess seeing them make it rain come down, they assume that I'm doing like a black market merchant or something. So that's not a huge deal, I'll just go ahead and pass this turn. Twisted Fate's red card now actually hits something which is quite nice. Much better than a trapper on curve as well. Ooh. Spicy spicy. Go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah, the picket card will actually be pretty nice. Pretty okay with hitting in the future. This I would just like go through. <laughs> it's funny that the Omen Hot hit that because that's the one health is or the one attack is a little bit annoying. All right, they don't want it to chip away. That's all good with me. Good here at playing the Zap because then I can attack and I can play the card as well. Also a Bastion up if necessary. And that draws me an extra card. Do this. And for the pick a card, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Bastion. I have to preemptively play Bastion some things and I don't really care about them that much. Cygnus I think will be too useful. Onto like Rex or something to finish the game perhaps. And Twisted Fate is going to be very close to leveling. Alright. Extremely close to leveling. It's making me think yeah, I might want to bash in. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll probably use this bash in and the pick a card. If if they allow me to do that, I will certainly be doing so. I could also let the bash in go and I could play the Pale Cascade instead. That Oh, oh I mean I could pick a card the bash in or the Pale Cascade. I think I might actually pick a card the bash in. Just gonna let this through. So I'll pick a card this. And we'll go ahead and pass here. Let's see what they decide to do. If they do nothing, yeah, I guess I'll play Pale Cascade. It's uh Or I could also do the Shade Stalker first. So two of those, and I guess I might as well take the draw here. I think the draw is worth it for two mana. Also helps my Diana L too, although we have not seen her this game. So Twisted Fate will be leveling up here, which is oh so nice. Like okay, there's Diana. So she's pretty close to being too Nightfall set up. Do I care about really playing her that much? Don't think so. I think I'd rather get the Cygnus going, but I don't have an activator for it, unfortunately. I do have the Pale Cascade, though. I don't know. I guess I will go for the Diana since she'll be leveled up fairly soon here. Yeah, because I can play her and sh she levels up and then I play Pale Cascade on her. Soak it in. I can kill this or something. I have to be worried about freezes a little bit. 
Another pale cascade. I'm not really worried about the Twisted Fate dying. Culling Strike would be the answer to it. But I do have enough to play Diana and the Strike or er, Pale Cascade to Pale Cascade. So that's really not too much of a worry here. Can I just go for lethal though with all this? I mean, we have. We have 6 damage here. 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, 11. I think we want to kill Ash, or at least attempt to. I think we're pretty safe in our current spot. Even if they freeze this, I'm not too worried. So I don't even have to pill Cascade here, it just has the challenger. Can also stun things too. That's the bad thing that if I pull Ash, she's going to get stunned. If I have to play a pill cascade. Okay. So in this scenario, they're playing if you have five plus power, kill four or less power. So I can make this five. Yeah, make that five. And that makes Diana five as well. My elusives are going to die, unfortunately. But really not too upset. Yeah, we'll just let this go. Rocketing isn't going to do too much there just because the Pale Cascades came in pretty clutch overall. And... At this point, I'm still gonna grab this. I mean, and I guess strictly, yeah, we might as well just do this because they either block it or they don't. If they don't block it, I want them to take seven. So we'll lose a few cards here, but they're wow, they took that. I guess they kind of have to. Not quite sure. Well, game should be fairly over now. I can't make it rain into Rex, but it's not a necessity by any means. Go and just throw this down. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Mm, the pool shark. I've never heard him say watch the ball, folks. I was thinking, why would you say that? And then I was like, oh, pool shark, okay. Ooh, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, Shade Stalker will probably be my next play. I mean... I hush if they play like Fury or anything. I'll keep these two up. Okay, there's that. Don't have to worry about Sejuani. Probably go for a draw still. This also dies. Only the finest serve. Pull shark, nice. <coughs> Save the make it rain, I think. Go on then. Watch the ball. And yeah. Alright, we got a pale cascade even, that's nice. So I think I will add this here. And also I will Oh no, I forget how this does that sometimes. It's pretty annoying. Okay, we'll do this first then. Then we can play the pill cascade after. <laughs> I'm a people person. Yeah, I really dislike how it does that sometimes. But should be fine regardless. 
As I do have the Pale Cascade as my get out of jail free card. I was thinking anti this for harsh winds. Could make the argument for Diana as well. But we'll see. I was thinking as long as TF is alive, or one thing's alive really, it's all good. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm just gonna put it on here. Okay, sweet. And then we might as well just add this to the Twisted Fate. Cause we don't really care if Diana dies here, we just don't want these to get harsh winds. Bastion top deck's pretty clutch in that regards. Cause now they have to like, play a harsh winds in a flash freeze and they still lose in that case. So they play harsh winds on this and this, and then like a flash freeze on this, they're still, you know, this gets popped but it doesn't actually die. I guess they could play it on this and this. So there's a flash freeze and then harsh winds here, but then TF is going to activate the next turn, hopefully through burst and kill them regardless. So harsh winds is their only out here. And even then, it doesn't really help them get back to the game that much. They could um, Harsh Winds and then instantly Tavern Keeper, and that would keep Tia from killing them. So there's the Harsh Winds. So yeah, they must not be expecting the top deck. So, I mean, this is quite a bit of damage here. Like I said, the Bastion coming in quite clutch. This allows me to play another card, so I can then burst kill them. Well, burst kill them, kind of. So this is nice to get the dust puddle here. So we'll just do this, and then go ahead and shuffle that in. We also have the hush available to us too, but we'll just do this. So they didn't have the tavern keeper, and we'll go ahead and take that game. Yay, it's a pretty fun deck to play. <laughs> Finish animation took a bit. Against Sage Juani and Gangplank. And Pull Shark, not the greatest, but we have the Dustbringer, thankfully. In this deck, Mulliganing hard for Dustbringer plus another like Nightfall unit is pretty much ideal. Pretty much every matchup, too. Thankful that they didn't have a warning shot into Jagged. That would have sucked. I mean, we'd have to make it rain at least. But instead we get a pretty good trade here that I'm happy with to say the least. There we go. Hmm. Okay, thankfully I just my hand is not very good either. I'm still gonna just pass here. <laughs> this is alright, this is good for me because they're not leveling up GP and Sage Bonnie. There is no monkey idol. Monkey idol would have been spooky. They might be worried that I have Diana and I'm waiting for them to play a creature. Thankfully. <laughs> well, not thankfully, but I don't have a creature. So they must have thought, oh she has Diana. They miss the allegiance. That feels bad. Go and take the draw here. Get rid of my one drops, apparently. Oh, and this is a really good one. I think I'd take this trade here. I don't want them to get the... the procs. I mean, this would be the time for them to make it. So I think... Caught in the cold? Oh man. That's actually pretty sweet. I wasn't expecting it, but no, I, I, I that was pretty sweet. Twisted Fate, blue card. We need card draw so bad. We could have opened pass there, but I, I need some help here, hand wise. I could also actually play Dust Petal into Shade Stalker. Because the blue card gave me gave me enough mana to do so. Avalanche, you say? That makes my make it rain be a little bit more beneficial. 
It also makes the pool shark be a little bit worse here, so I'm really liking the dust pedal. Feeling pretty good about that. Get my first bit of damage in. Oh, this is making my make it rain be perfect. Hopefully they don't play anything else. Just open attack, please. Double make it rain for double the fun. Well, I have triple, but <laughs> don't mind that. Eevee warned. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and play this. Make them sad. I should have, maybe I should have waited. Mm, nah, cause they, mm, yeah, probably should have. I can just bash in to kill this. Certainly worth it. They're running out of cards. I have ways to draw lots of cards. Wait, do I bash in this or? I mean, it keeps me from, from them plundering and I already have another bash in. So I would rather do that than use the make it rain. Just so they don't get the plunder proc. I want the draw. I really want the draw. And just hope it's not Riptide Rex. Okay, good. It's not. Do this. We just need more draw. We have a lot of draw, so that's fine. We got Pale Cascades left. We have another Salvage left. We have Guiding Touch. Um, we have two Twisted Fates, I believe. We have zap spray fins. Like, we have so much draw if we can find it. Right now, I'd probably take an open attack here. Don't want to use too many things. Loki want to hush this thing, but I'm not going to. There's more spooky things to deal with. Oh, they're getting the first plunder. Unfortunate. Well, they could play another one, I guess, but... Yeah. Oh, nope. Surprised they didn't want to take a trade. Because they still take four damage from that. It's only one damage difference. Make it rain still a possibility, though. Bank all this mana. Hmm. <coughs> Diana... Okay, I have to play her this turn, unfortunately. On the bright side, I've activated three Nightfalls already, so it's actually not that bad, except for the fact that I don't have one more Nightfall in hand. I don't want to use the Warding Shaw. I'll probably use the Make It Rain here. Warding Shaw is just because Riptide Rex wins this game for us if we draw it. I'm pretty sure that it does. I mean, the same case for them, too. Riptide Rex could probably win the game for them. So we'll see. Here it comes, right? Right? And then we chain our Make It Rain in. And then we'll play the Crescent Guardian to block. There it is. Okay, it doesn't quite win it for him yet, but it's pretty spooky. We'll be able to actually get a trade with Diana for free next turn. Hopefully, if we can draw a Nightfall card. I just... I need my draws. Oh, this actually lived. Sweet. I didn't even realize that. That's really good. waited on that and just passed there. Yeah, definitely should have just waited and passed there. After that pass, I wasn't expecting them to pass. I was thinking, oh no, I should have taken that pass. Thankfully, no punish. Okay, cool. Alright, so we can... 
ash in this. Hit this up. Twist the face pretty nice. Might as well do the extra damage there. Okay, we definitely thought they didn't block, but they're going to block. Even then, we almost had lethal. We're really, like, really close with TF Red Guard. But I think I'm gonna blue card here. Yeah, if we get one. Spooky? Super spooky. Eyes open. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm not too worried. So, warning shot, Riptide or X. Let's go. Also, too, we can just hush this. It's actually, after we play Riptide Rex, it's probably just an idea just to hush this anyway. Maybe. Maybe. Damn. Kinda depends what they play here. But we will see. Could have played Bastion onto the 7 3 to help it live earlier. But that's alright. So we just need this to kind of go through. I don't think playing Hush here is really worth it now. Can if I need to. Man. At least I have enough for both of these. Alright, they surrendered. Thank you, Riptide Rex, my best friend. 